over to the right I already did one half of this page um in the video where I was talking about colorism go ahead and look at that but for this video I'm going to do the second half of this drawing and you will also later get to see me use my sticker machine for the first time my Cricut and I'm very excited to use it this is so weird that I have to whisper in this whole video, but honestly, this is the only time window I have to record, and so I'm just going to use it, and hopefully this is some, you know, ASMRS type-ish for y'all, and you enjoy it, but if you don't enjoy it, um, you can watch this video on mute, I don't know, I'm not going to talk that much, but yeah, talking about the sketch, it was one of the things that I drew in um, the initial sketch process. And so I'm recreating a mirror that I actually have and doing my little flower ladies. this painting. I'm really loving this couch paint set y'all. Like it's really my favorite thing that I've ever bought in my life. Um, but yeah, I wanted to kind of match the colors of the other side of the page without just sticking to those same colors. I believe I used two different gouache sets for the other one. For this one, I'm just using my Hemi paints one. I don't know, I'm really vibing with it. Its smell is really weird, I've noticed. But it has a distinct, different type of smell that the other one really doesn't. But color wise, and even like consistency wise, I think I prefer it more than the hearts one that I have. So, yeah, painting the petals of this composition.
love it when you wake up All natural, no makeup My smile making you fake blush You know where that could take us uh. Love it when you slide next to me And say how was your day, love Girl, why you gotta say stuff God gave you that great touch uh, I'm loving the hair wrap that you're rocking, girl Regal when you walking, girl No one can tell you nothing, girl Not just here, but across the world to you and try to touch it or maybe they ask you a question like how you get that around your head you just kind of smile and say it's as easy as counting down to ten but in your mind you're thinking man oh man yeah hair rap diaries baby girl why you eyeing me Got a brother rapping about raps, no apologies. Can't take cloth prodigy, girl, you know anomaly. Antiques were wearing it long before the colonies. Passed on to you, and now your rap's on a view. Different colors, hair braided underneath, all for who? I'm trying to live the crib before three like you knew. Comfort before anything, you scream out the room. But I love it, I ain't bothered, I'm patient. Girl, take your time, I'm waiting. Get your hair wrap on, my lady. You gon' teach those skills to my baby Love it when you wake up All natural, no makeup My smile making you fake blush You know where that could take us uh. Love it when you slide next to me And say how was your day, love Girl, why you gotta say stuff God gave you that great touch uh, I'm loving the hair wrap that you're rocking Pride, that's a lot of goals from your mama, though. That's how you now pro. Got me feeling like I can't wait to get you out of those. Young lady, look at how you make me guess you want to roll. Oh, who popping? Who got the clothes and designer flow? You, you got it. You got the glow from long time ago. Bought it from the market. Now you wear it like an artist. But like everything we own, they gentrified and recharge it. Uh, remember when they laughed at the head wraps? Do you wear? Now they want to know, but you got to tell them it's rare, yeah. Trade secrets cannot be given now for some air. They pay and tell them triple the price. That's for my pairs, I don't care, let the speakers hear, no Ain't no small gains if you need, I reload My baby girl got the hair wrap on By the time that is more than have the hair wrap gone Yeah, I love, love it when you wake up All natural, no makeup My smile making you fake blush You know where that could take us, uh Love it when you slide next to me And say how was your day, love Girl, why you gotta say stuff? God gave you that great touch. Uh, I'm loving the hair wrap that you're rocking, girl. Regal when you walking, girl. No one can tell you nothing, girl. Not just hair, but across the world. Hair wrap that you're rocking, girl. Regal when you walking, girl. No one can tell you nothing, girl. Not just hair, but across the world. Around here was the moment where I was like, girl, why did you decide to make this intricate painting of this mirror that has all these nooks and crannies? But it ended up looking pretty cool at the end, but I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking about giving up around this point, because I was like, oh, this is about to take me forever. And eventually I just decided to call it. It was getting late as I was painting this. Um, so I won't finish this painting in this first 
part of this video but if you watch to the end you will definitely see it fully finished. Drive along an ocean reflecting the sun Or make a bed of green atop a wide open scene Under a canvas of blue I would draw ever nearer to you To feel the dew on your skin That is how it would begin For summer is for falling in love We could stay out late Until the sun sets past eight And the cotton candy haze Mirrors the warmth of your gaze Raise your glass to mine And as we drink we would lock eyes So we could disregard The thought of ever having to part For summer is for falling In love Like the last breath of a sunset right before the day is dead But maybe the heat of today could keep even winter away So I'll remember your laugh cause nothing ever changes the fact 
Like I said, I reached a point of frustration and this is about it. So I pivoted to actually trying out my Cricut machine for the first time. One thing I knew is that I needed to refine the illustration I had scanned it in. And this is the process of me refining it, cleaning up certain things that I couldn't clean up physically. So I'm just going to do it digitally and adding that white border you need in order for the Cricut machine to register it as a sticker, as a cut mark. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm in Procreate, just cleaning up some stuff that was bothering me that I couldn't do with the actual paint, but you know, I can fake it with my digital paint. Um, and yeah, getting it ready to print. So it didn't quite punch through on the other end if you look. I mean, it should. I, that means I just should have set the card settings to the pressure to be a little bit heavier, like a card stock material. But I can still sell these just as like maybe like type B small. I'm gonna reprint this anyway so that there's less on one sheet, but just bigger ones. So maybe four per sheet for the size I feel like that this illustration will work best in. But I'm excited that in general it's working. There's a few things that few little imperfections that I noticed. So I think I'm gonna have to calibrate a little bit too. You can see it's very close on the edge. For these. Like, hey! These can just be like B grades from my shop, but I'm excited because these are literally first print, my first sticker prints. Here, I'm gonna take one off. I have all the materials to like remove mm, this the way it needs to be removed, but for some reason I didn't want to open up the package. Come on, honey. But yeah, it's coming off pretty perfectly. But like I said, there's little parts of it that I think can be improved. I also, I don't know how I feel about the mat yet. Like, I didn't buy any gloss paper, but I think I'm gonna go and buy some gloss paper just so I can 
experiment more about like what I like better because I feel like this feels nice and I actually do like in some ways how soft the colors are but I'll be curious about how the gloss feels um but yeah there's a few places like that that it was a little bit off the mark but for its first try it's not terrible let's stick her down I think this is gonna be my like sticker test lid. It's so cute. Um, because these aren't punched through, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out the rest into squares. And again, just sell them as B grades because yeah, they're not white there yet but in general I'm happy happy So professional. Yeah. Uh, so satisfying. So satisfying. I'm looking now and just thinking ahead on how I'm going to be making these sheets. I'm like, oh, like I definitely could. Make sure that there's artwork in these empty spaces just to make sure that I don't know I'm using paper effectively. But yay, it's worked. This cut actually looks pretty good, I think. And I like how this looks on vinyl much better. So I think I now know I prefer things on vinyl, but that also means that these stickers are probably going to be a little bit more expensive because my mom's a little bit more expensive. But I just like how they feel and the color of them a bit more. My little guardian sticker bear. So these are my postcards that they finally came back printed. I said I was going to be printing some of them using the print place and I really like how they turned out but I'm going around the corners of half of them so that you know there's just options I think the ones but around the corners I want to sell for like maybe like 25 cents more um just because I had to do that labor of rounding the corners but I really love using this little tool like it's my fave We got some new water, we got the same paints, and we gon' finish this thing, mm-hmm, today.
Just going in and adding some highlights. This is the part of gauche that I actually really like that you can go back in and pretty easily add whites on top of darker values. Um, and I think I'm starting to get better and more confident at using that technique in these paintings. I can't believe this is only like, I think the third or fourth one I've done. I can't wait to see like a year from now how I grow within this medium because I already feel the difference in between where I started and how this painting eventually turned out. Just I, like the confidence, it's the, it's the confidence for me um, that I noticed. So I think that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that at my big old age of almost 30, um, I'm still pushing myself artistically. Um, so yeah.
All right, babies, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit longer than my other ones, but you know, that's, there was a lot of updates and I'm really excited and happy with my Cricut purchase. I got it off of eBay. I recommend y'all going on eBay if you want to buy a Cricut machine because you could get at least like $30 off of what it typically is. I really enjoy how this painting turned out eventually before as I left it. I'm, I'm glad I walked away from it because sometimes you need to walk away from things in order for you to come back with a fresher perspective on how to finish it and so that's what happened with this specific painting. I kind of thought I messed up by giving it a pink background and it turned out pretty cute. I don't know if I'm gonna sell this as a print. Comment below if you think that it you will want it um, but I think it was just like a fun exercise and you already saw that I turned the drawing or the painting on the right into a sticker like that's my first sticker so I'm so excited about that if you enjoyed this video you know what to do subscribe below I make videos like this all the time and I continue or I continue wow I'll continue to do so in the future um I think having something like YouTube to keep me accountable for making creative and productive art productive art wow keeps me productive in making art um so my desire to build this channel and keep making art content is also funneling my artistic process in a way that I think I would be way slower than I am now um, in exploring new artistic practices. So please subscribe if you want to see me continue to build, continue to build my art shop um, that again is opening in March. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you have a lovely day, babies.